Let's go to Milkman Mark, the Chelsea fan. All right, Mark. Marky Mark. All right, guys. Hey, guys, you doing all right? Yeah, oh, we're no, good, no, mate. Bad, we're good. Bad, I'm back bad. from the, the travel disaster, but we're here. <laughs> we're in good spirits. Go on, what do you want to say? Good, good. Well, first of all, I want to dig out uh, GJ because he digged out Harry Kane. Harry Kane is our leader and he's the only man for the job and he's he should be the captain in the Euros when they come around. He's the main man for the job and I'd have him take any penalty any day of the week. Yeah, I absolutely agree um, with you. Absolutely. I mean, you can't come on here and kick a man while he's down. Do you know what I mean? It's out of order. Mm. No, I agree. Especially being um, a Tottenham fan. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Messi, I mean, come on, look at that performance. It was outrageous tonight. tonight. He was, he was, was he sensational. Was phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. And I think the debate is over, guys. I think I don't think he needs to lift the World Cup. I think he will. I do honestly, God, think he will. I don't think he needs to lift it. I think he's just proved it. He's the greatest of all time. He really is. I, I don't think he has to win the World Cup in all honesty for, for me he's the most naturally gifted footballer I've I, saw, I think you do no I don't think not, George Best never played in the World Cup finals you know he was unfortunate yeah, he was, not, he was playing he's never in, the, in a conversation to be classed as the best ever Pele well Pele won it three times. Didn't Pele say he was R9 the best Pele won it twice. What I'm saying is Pele Maradona's said... Maradona's won it once. Yeah, but George Best never got, he didn't go to a World Cup. Yeah, I Some know, players aren't. in a conversation to be the best ever. No. Messi does go to a no, World what? Cup. He's, he's played in Cup finals. But I don't think you have to win it to prove. Not, not that... That doesn't... I've seen enough of Messi to know that he's won... He's, I think he's. The, I think he's the most naturally gifted footballer I've ever seen. I was lucky enough to see Maradona back in '86. Right? I was. I, you know, I saw Maradona mid uh, early '80s going through to not into the '90s. Right? I was lucky enough to see him. I, only saw, I didn't see him as often as I do Messi now because of television coverage. But he was the best thing. Messi for me is better than Maradona. That's a, that's well, the statement for me. That's a big. Statement. That's the statement. That's a huge statement. That's the yeah. statement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Maradona. Okay, another, he, another point. Go on. Go on. Mate, can I say another point as well? This World Cup, to be fair, I'm so glad the football's done the talking. All the controversies around this World Cup, and I think it's actually turned out to be a bloody good World Cup. Yeah, yeah, it's it's yeah, yeah. From, yeah. Been... From, from the Moroccans and everyone, I think this World Cup, I think all of everything around it, the critics and where it's been and everything that's happened, I think the football's finally done the talking, and I think it's lived up to lived up to what it should have done. Yeah, absolutely has. It's been fantastic. Mark, thanks for your call. Let's go to Leo, who's an Arsenal fan. All right, Leo. Hi, Jamie. How's it going? Yeah, good. Good. Yeah. How are you? Jason, how's it going? Yeah, yeah good. Like, yeah, come. Good. It's, it's, it's about time people started forgetting the conversation. It's all about Messi. Forget Ronaldo. He's going to Dubai or wherever he's going, Saudi Arabia. It's all about Messi. He is the man. He is the boy. Do you know what I mean? Look, the... I agree with you. I'm, 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 what I'm going to do is ask you a question. I'm, I'm not. I'm not disagreeing with what you're saying. Ronaldo yeah. has done it in in multiple countries. Messi only done it in Spain. He went to PSG and hasn't won the Champions League for them. Okay. okay. Um, he had a poor. He had a poor first season there. He was at Barcelona in one of the greatest teams ever with one of the greatest managers ever uh, in Barcelona, and he hasn't won the World Cup with Argentina. You could argue, though, they were the greatest team because of Messi. And everyone says, like, oh, Ronaldo, Ronaldo's done it here. Ronaldo's done it there. Messi's done it. Messi's done it more. Ronaldo, what, was, what did Ronaldo do at Man United this year? Um, yeah, no, no, I, this is, can, we, can we just, can, before, we, before we go any further, right? Yeah. Both can be absolutely brilliant. Both their record, the pair of them, are two of the greatest footballers this, this, this world's ever. And we are lucky and incredibly fortunate that we are seeing two of the greatest players ever to put a pair of football boots on go toe to toe. We saw what they were doing in the Liga. Ronaldo would get a hat trick on, on the Tuesday in the Champions League. On the Wednesday, Messi would get a hat trick. They've actually pushed one another. I think it's a very good argument to say the reason that Messi is as good and the reason Ronaldo has been as good is because they've had one another. They keep pushing. They keep striving to be even better. Striving well, to get that well, next stat. Well, so can we just Ronaldo, stop with Ronaldo, the Ronaldo's Ronaldo, craps Ronaldo made argument? It about, I'm the best. Ronaldo made it about I'm the best, I'm the best, I'm the best. He's never made it about I'm the best, did he? Ronaldo made it that conversation. Mm. So now, no, but now I mean, now both can be brilliant. You can have a preference. But, you know, there's people listening to this that prefer Ronaldo. And that's OK. You, you know, that... The, but just to come on and say that, you know... I'm not dismissing Ronaldo. For me, a per personal preference, my own decision, mm -hmm. is that Messi's the most naturally gifted football I've ever seen. He's easier than they are, yeah, for sure. Mm, yeah. All right, Leo, thank you. Go on, yeah, go on, go on finish up, finish no, up, Leo. I just, I just think if you, if you could pick one to have in your team right now, you'd pick Messi all day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Who would yeah. you pick in a World Cup final in their prime? 
I mean, Messi, I mean if, I'm, if, I'm, if I've got to stick to my guns and say Messi's, you know, for me, the, the most naturally gifted footballer. If you could pick any player from any generation, any, any era, to uh, play on Sunday in the World Cup final, who you well, pick? For England? For, yeah, well, England get to the World Cup final, you can pick any player from any era. Who are you picking? Oh, any era? Oh, God, what do we need? No, just don't start going on what do we need. Just to, just to play in a World Cup fight. Who do you want is going to win you the game? Um, well, God, what do we need, England? We need a centre-half. Oh. I'd go, what? What are you on about? Whatever. I'm just, no. We, we, get, what do you stop mean? Stop changing the question. I don't understand the question. Stop Which, changing the question. Well, ask me again. <laughs> Again, if you're going to pick one player yeah. from any era to play in Sunday's yeah. World Cup for final, England. play for England. England aren't there. Why? Are you, All right. Why? Who play for Morocco? Play for Morocco. Going to play for Morocco on Sunday. On Sunday in yeah. World Cup final, you can pick any player what, what, what from any era. Where, what injuries have they got? Morocco. They got. They got some... <laughs> Yes. Yeah, they off, didn't they? Honestly, take Terry me back. Butcher. To, take me back to Tenerife, please. Let's go to Steve, who's a Man City fan. Steve. Oh, Steve. Hey, how you doing, guys? Yeah, I'm good, Steve. Go on, what do you want to say? Okay, well, everybody's talking about Messi and, and Messi is the go, I agree. But nobody is talking about the Argentinian number nine, who was absolutely outstanding yeah. today, Alvarez. Yeah, Alvarez, yeah. Oh, He's having oh, a fine World Cup, boy. Yeah. <clears throat> our, our reserve striker. Yeah. I know, Man City. It's, it's unbelievable yeah. what a signing that's turned out to be. Well, I'm, I'm hoping that Pep, changes his formation a little bit to to five at the back to allow Alvarez to play up front with Haaland because that's how I see them both fitting in together. And, you know, everybody said when we sold Jesus to Arsenal, you know, that was a bad sale. But I, I love Jesus. But Alvarez, to me, is a better player than Jesus. Mm. He really is. What it's, do you think, guys? He's, he's having a fine World Cup, and you know this is. <clears throat> we didn't see uh, no a huge amount of him. We've never seen a men's city shirt. I've always thought, yeah, there's there's something there. But Haaland's taken all the headlines. It's hard to look past Haaland. But you're right. You're right to mention yeah. him. Was he? Has he got four goals now in the in the tournament, Alvarez? He's got, uh, he's got four. four. Yeah, four. he's got four. He's he got could four. End, he could end golden boot. It, it wouldn't be. It's not inconceivable. I think he no. could. Well, he of course, two, he's getting on the end of things. He's getting on the end of things. Um, absolutely. Slightly fortuitous with the first goal. Bad defending. But, Shocking. I but, mean, it was like uh, chasing Cundy in centre half. Oh, mate, Joe. Oh, my f- God. Mate, I ain't doing I that. I actually thought it was Cundy in disguise mate, playing for Croatia mate, with your right, wellies even, on. Even my bad knee, <laughs> even my bad knee, I'm, de- I'm dealing with that. You're dealing with but that. I'm dealing with that. Is Honestly. It, is it a penalty, steve for you, Alvarez? Uh, yeah. Absolutely. I mean, I know he's having an argument on ITV about it. It's a. Look, I want to. I, I, I try and have a balanced argument here, but I can't not dis. Uh, I can't not agree with with Cundy. It's a it's a penalty. It's, yeah. it's a stonewall penalty. Yeah, a, he, it, he's, yeah. he's got a shot off. The keeper's clattered into him, and he's in the way. You know, he's in the way. He hasn't got the ball. It's a foul. It's a foul. Just just remember, guys, that that Messi, um, although he's not the manager of the team, he's certainly the star player. He has a big say in the formation of the team. And it was him that chose Alvarez as his strike partner ahead of everybody else. How'd so, you know? you know, Messi's a smart guy. You how'd know? you know that? How, how do I know that? Because Messi's my best buddy. Everybody <laughs> knows that. <laughs> well, he seems to like playing with him, that's for sure. He does seem to like playing Listen, with him. Let, let me just tell you something. Messi, people like Messi and Ronaldo... While they might not be managers, they have a huge say in the formation and the way the team plays, believe me. And I'm sure uh, Argentina didn't appoint that manager without Messi's approval. Would you agree with that, guys? I don't. I just, I just don't. know. There's only so much say you can have. Look, we've just seen what Ronaldo's done. He, it, Ronaldo's having no say at the moment. He can't even stay on the pitch. I, I don't know. I think no. that's a very dangerous road. Yeah, no, I don't go. think. I, I don't, don't think doubt that some players have got a huge amount of sway. Especially, is it you know, is it Mbappe? He's got some sway at PSG. As soon yeah. as you do that, you're asking for trouble for me. Yeah, I agree. I think I, I, for me, Alvarez deserves to be in the team and the performances that he's been putting yeah. in. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he's been brilliant. Yeah.